Hey YouTube, it's Alan here. Welcome to this channel. And today I am going over the box office taken as well as Rotten Tomato scores for the Batman movie. Now, the Batman movie was extremely controversial from con from conception. People been downplaying it, saying that Robert Pattinson will be a good Batman, so on and so forth. But unfortunately for those people, the box office as well as Rotten Tomato scores speak otherwise. Now, this Rotten Tomato score to me is one of the highest Rotten Tomato scores I've ever seen in a DC movie. Um, besides the Joker, right? This Rotten Tomato score is sitting at a cool 88% audience score. 88% audience score. That is just two points shy of hitting 90%. Like, this is an amazing movie. It is. Like, it's undebatable. Like, I know... Well, I won't say undebatable. Anything is debatable. Let me, let me clarify that right now. Any topic is debatable, right? But what I will say is the vast majority of these people who've seen this movie and left a review for this movie highly enjoy this movie. And this is not the critic score. This is the audience score. This is the one you really look at when you want to see a movie, you know, because you, uh, you see the critic score is sometimes you're skeptical, but the audience score is us. We saw this movie and this is what we thought about this movie. Now, as for the critic score, that also is sitting at a certified fresh. It's sitting up there at 85%, which is extremely high. Now, I don't know about you, but I count this as a win for DC and in the DC column. Now, as for Robert Pattinson being Batman, love him or hate him, he did and he was able to bring in money alongside Matt Reeves and Zoe Kravitz. So with that said, I am extremely excited for this movie. I just seen it just recently. I saw it myself. I sat down to see, I watched this movie. And I gotta say, this movie is not bad. This movie is pretty long. I will say it is really freaking long. But overall, it makes a really good noir style story, right? Um, and as for the box office taken, that's the big story of the day. Because the box office taken, which is 10 days out in theater, is almost half a billion dollars. Like, that's insane. Like, um, it's not Spider-Man No Way Home type numbers by no means, but this is, as of right now, the second highest grossing movie that I can think of since the pandemic started, which is which is really freaking good. Like this is a good win for DC. This is a good win for Warner Brothers. This is something they can hold high as they go into their merger with Discovery Plus, right? Because if you don't know, um, HBO Max and Warner Brothers and um. Discovery Plus is currently doing a merger, which will combine the two streaming services as well as the properties that are on there. So, yeah, this is a good look going into that situation. Now, domestically, it bought in around 200 and I have notes on that, actually. Let me pull those numbers up real quick. It pulled in two hundred and thirty eight million dollars, five hundred and twenty thousand eight hundred and twenty six dollars. Pretty much $238 million it bought in, which is freaking insane for just 10 days. And then as for the international box office, it bought in $224 million, which is also damn well insane, right? So for the worldwide box office thus far, it bought in a total of $463 million, just short of a half a billion dollars. And this is just 10 days into the movie theaters. You got to assume that this movie is going to have legs. This movie is going to continue because most movies on a second week have probably around a 60, a 70% drop off, right? But this movie right here, this movie right here only had a 50% drop off, which is extremely good for this kind of movie. Um, now, what I'm going to do later on is do a full review of this movie. Um, break down the Easter eggs and nuances and things like that. Some of the comic book materials they pulled from. And if I'm lucky, I'll have my friend Christian here with me to go over his feelings of the movie. Because we both went to see the movie at the same time with our respective spouses and stuff like that. So we saw this movie together. He has a dramatically different take than what I have on the movie. But his take is 100% valid on some of the critiques he was throwing out. So... 
with that said i am looking forward for him coming over here so we can do this video together as well as some videos we have coming out together on his channel um his channel we're slowly working on some content for his one of which as we stated before will be morbius as well as a review of daredevil um season just a recap of daredevil season as well as the punisher so with that said down in the comment section below let me know if you see um the matt reeves batman movie let me know what you thought about it let me know if you thought robert patterson was a good batman a bad batman or if you would prefer this movie just not to be made and if you did see it multiple times why not leave it down in the comment section below as well so do the three great things which is like comment and subscribe peace damn this movie is better than i thought it would be <laughs>